Hello and welcome to another edition of Blues Chronicles. My name is Reverend Robert Jones. Today we meet a man who wasn't discovered until 1959, but whose music leads us back to one of the deepest traditions in American blues. Today we meet Mississippi Fred McDowell. According to most sources, Fred McDowell was born January 12, 1906, in Rossville, Tennessee. His parents were farmers, and both of them died when Fred was young. McDowell took up guitar at around the age of 14 and started playing for tips and dances around Rossville. Fred McDowell eventually ended up settling in Como, Mississippi, where he became a full-time farmer and did other jobs on the side. In 1959, famed musicologist Alan Lomax recorded Mississippi Fred McDowell for the very first time. The town of Como is in the hill country of Mississippi, east of the Delta, and it has a distinct musical sound all its own. The hill country has small independent farms as opposed to the large plantations of the Delta, and its musical styles offer driving rhythms and repeating lines that are closely associated with West African music. One of the first songs that Lomax recorded McDowell playing was You Done Told Everybody. Even though he started late, by 1964, Fred McDowell was a fixture on the festival circuit. Even though Mississippi Fred McDowell's music was influential, it probably didn't impress anyone as much as Bonnie Raitt. And now that people were aware of hill country music, it opened the door to many great artists. Like R.L. Burnside. Both are Turner, Jesse May Hemfield, Robert Wolfman Balfour, and Junior Kimbrough. Mississippi Fred McDowell died of cancer in 1972, but part of his legacy is that he opened the world to the sound of hill country blues. Even though giants like McDowell and R.L. Burnside have passed on, the grandchildren of these artists, like Sade Thomas and Cedric Burnside, continue to carry the music on. For Blues Chronicles, this is Reverend Robert Jones.